So where are you going with what are we trying to prove? I mean, because I mean, you, you, we, I throw myself into the collective of Americans, right? Yes, you absolutely. know, I mean, I get caught up in it all, and it's like, and I, and I want, and I, I, I guess I, when you ask that question, yeah, what are, what are you asking? I guess you know, it, and and that's the thing is that, it, you know, I think it's more of like, what are we trying to prove by being hateful against one another you know that's that's kind of what i was thinking at that time like you know when i'm seeing people screaming at each other in each other's face and you know doing all this sort of shit that you know is just being pumped in our faces through media all day long i'm like you know what is it that we're trying to prove that i'm right and that you're wrong or that you're right and i'm wrong and you know there was this thing at the time that i was going you know through the spiritual stuff and psychology and spiritual psychology and, you know, all this stuff um, where there was a saying, someone wise said, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? And that really fucking stuck with me, man, because it's like, you know, through these other things that I um, study, for for example, there's a principle called um, the principle of polarity, right? And the principle of polarity states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, you know? So it's like, I don't know, man. It doesn't have to be all bad. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the thing, well, you know, I just saw a really, really riveting interview for me, mm-hmm. but this guy was talking about, you know, this thing about having to be right, mm-hmm. you know? And he was saying, what happens now is people, they don't argue their point anymore. They just make slurs like you're a bigot or you're a right, racist. Right. That's all they do is they just throw this out at people. Right. That's not arguing their point. Right. And it's like nobody's making quote unquote arguments anymore. They're just throwing out, you know, these things at people and, to try to. Right. Yeah. And, and, and it, 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 see, exactly, Frank, that's exactly what I was talking about. It's like, what are you trying to prove? Are we actually like trying to make a change here and like, do you actually care about me right now that you're like trying to convince me, you know, through a conversation, through mutual understanding and respect? Or are you yelling some bullshit in my face just because I disagree with you and you don't like that, you know? And so, I don't know, that, that was kind of the whole, what are, you, what are we trying to prove? You know, what are we trying to prove? Let's just come together, you know, try yeah. to. Yeah, I know that whole sort of kumbaya stuff. It's like it, it sounds so cliche, but right. I mean, what's funny slash really sad to me is people have been asking for that for eons, mm. you know. And then like, and we're still in you know 2017. We're recording this interview, and it's like we're still sort of looking for that same sort of right. let's all get together on this. Right, right. It's you so know. weird. It, <laughs> I, know. I know, man. That's the thing, though. You know, and it's it's that is part of my fascination with the the whole, you know, different spiritual concepts, you know, because again, it's like, you know, talking about the principle of polarity, it's like the more light we get, the, 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 the bigger the light, the brighter the light. Well, at the same time, everything has an equal and opposite reaction that creates a bigger shadow, you know? So it's like trying to be mindful of how you're kind of dancing your way through, um, through your life, you know, it's like, well, which, side do you want to dance on and even though both exist on both sides you know like if you if you look at um yin and yang on the the light side there's a little dot of the black you know if you look on the 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 yang side there's a little dot of the white because they're essentially two things two different degrees of the same thing that are at different vibrations you know and but um that's why we're still here man because it's like looking for the same shit because As much as, you know, we're discovering more things and becoming lighter beings, we're also casting bigger shadows. You know, I see a lot of people that are using um, the light, quote, you know, the the goodness to be self-serving, to serve themselves and manipulate other people who are seeking the light. And they're like, oh, let me show you all about this shit and I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you and turn this light into this dark thing that is perceiving itself to be light, you know? And so, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the hell I was going with that. 
Well, well, the thing that when you're saying that kind of stuff is, I guess I want to believe that we are moving, if not whatever mean whatever it means to say closer to the light. Mm-hmm. So we would all be more bathed in light and find more of this beautifulness. That's the lamest word I could come up with. <laughs> but but you know, it's like it. But yeah, so but yet, I, maybe maybe it is a, a yin and, a yin and a yang thing forever. It's just always going to be this equal sort of set of light and darkness and 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 then when i think that i think well then i'm really just pissing in the wind here right you know, it's <laughs> know, like, you know and that's exactly that's why it's like you know okay let me like go and reevaluate and then I, I i go and look at what all these you know masters of our history and time you know buddha and what you know they all say yeah. the same shit you know they're not all like i gotta be busy i gotta do this and i gotta do that and blah 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 and argue my point they're just like it is what it is like until it isn't you know and yeah. don't label things and then you won't judge things and just be you know and it's like okay that sounds great but fuck you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know, you know so. so i'm gonna jump to on on my way yeah sure can i jump to that yeah. one uh, because I, I, I guess I l- love that idea, and maybe we're talking about the same sort of idea. And because I, I don't know really where you are spiritually per se, and I don't need to know sure. other than I'm just curious because I'm another human yeah, being, yeah, sure. right? Do we do we think the same and all that kind of stuff? We do the same beliefs, I love that. but but that's one where I think you're this searching for connection thing, yeah, with whatever it is, you know, whether it's you, know, you say how 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 can I get back to heaven I found here on earth, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't know if you're, if heaven can be here or if it really is another life and all this. Right. Well, anyway. You see, to, to me, that was, that was exercising a perspective of my experience here on earth. You know, it's like I said, you can focus on all the dark shit and be pissed and fucking, brr, you know, and rigid and forceful, or you can focus on the light stuff and understand and not deny the fact that there is darkness and that there is other things going on because that's part of the deal but it's like i like to dwell you know is in the middle and balanced as i possibly can you know and have understanding of both sides and you know i have experienced heaven on earth i've had two spiritual awake i mean after the first spiritual awakening it, when i was 20 years old that was like you know, life was never the same after that. It was like, holy shit, you know, I am in this body here. And it was a trip, man. It was a fucking trip. But, um, you know, I have, I found heaven here on earth, you know, and I feel like that's a perspective, you know? And so if for a while going through dark things, you know, kind of going back and forth, going through the waves of, of life, you know, and at that point it's like, You know, how can I get back to heaven that I found here on earth? Because right now I feel like I'm in fucking hell. But at the same time, I know enough to not be afraid of that. Like I can climb out of this, you know? Well, I love the idea of even, I mean, the exact words, I don't know where I'm heading, but I'm on my way. Because I think there's so much uh, import put on in this world that you, Mm -hmm. you need to know where you're going. And I need to know where you're going so I can judge you properly. So I know that you're on the on the path that I think right, you should be on. Right. So I don't, you know, so I don't have to worry about you or whatever. Right, the right, right. Potential phrases, I guess. But. <laughs> right. Yeah, because there there is a certain piece in, right. in in accepting what is now. Right. You know. Absolutely. You know, and that was that was kind of kind of it. You know, and I feel like another the main point is is that you know I feel like. In these sort of spiritual communities, um, a lot of it's they're not authentic. And the reason I say that is because a lot of them are like, Ew, you know, just get in your heart center, bro. And it's going to be all this woo woo fucking gooby goo shit. And it's like, no, it's not because there are both sides. It's not just light. You can't have light unless you have dark like they're both relevant. And for us to ignore that and demonize the darker side or, you know, even, even the word, the label dark gives it this sort of stigma, this, this bad thing when essentially it's like, well, what if there are valuable lessons in this thing, the situation that may appear to be dark because it's triggering negative emotional responses, uncomfortableness, you know, within our being, but it's like, that's necessary. That's good. There's light in there, you know? And so 
I just kind of wanted to make it a point that it's like, yeah, this might be dark and, you know, it may be dark and the bars may be dark. The clubs may be dark. It may all be fucking dark, but it's OK. You know, it's OK. It's all one in the same thing. You know, we're eventually going to all get to the same place, you know. So. so talk to me about With You, uh, second song on the record. With You, that was, you know, that was one of the more recent songs that I wrote. Um, like I said, the other ones were written, you know, years ago. Um, with you, that was, that was pretty recent. That was a couple years ago, you know, and I just kind of, uh, getting older, you know, it's different. Um, I just had completely different perspectives on, on the world, you know, it was like kind of seeing things with a different, through a different perspective, through a different lens and having different understandings of things that I was like, as I feel like I'm waking up to certain things, it's like I was like longing for that connection with somebody else. Like I want to wake up and feel alive with you. I don't want to feel alive and awake alone. Like I want to share this experience with people. I want to share this experience, you know, with the world. And I was just kind of reflecting on that, you know, in the verses, um, this is, uh, now I'm sitting here counting up the years, uh, never thought this is how it would feel so good, you know? And it's like, it does feel so good, you know, if you're focused on the, the good stuff, you know, but. Um, so, so do you sing that to another person? Do you sing that to the world? Do you sing that to a God? I mean, it's, you- it's to the, it's it, to me, it's more like to the world, you know, to, to me, it's, I was speaking to, to the world, like to whoever yeah. was like wanting to or willing to receive that message, that was for them. You yeah. know, it was nobody specific. Because when I, when I read here, mm. sorry about that, I'm looking yeah. from the outside, violence and greed worldwide. It's sometimes I don't want the world. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, right. It's like you got, you're the one that's keeping me down, quote unquote, world. Right. You right. know, and it's like, uh, and so I don't know if, if I reach out to, what I think is God or whatever, you know, and I, sometimes I think God's a crutch, whatever, you know, yeah. but yeah. All that these are all the confusing right, <laughs> right and left sides of my brain I and totally heart and all under, that I'm stuff. I'm with you, buddy. Right. But it's like, so sometimes I just want to go, screw you world. I've, you know, I've got somebody better to lean on and there's other parts that I go, boy, I've, I better get some company in this world. Otherwise I'm, it's going to be a lonely ride, right? right. You know? Couldn't agree and, with and, and bring them to aliveness, you know, or right. whatever their exactly. life. Or, you know, yeah. because it's, you know, again, I, I just, you know, the things that we experience in life, I mean, it's like I get a lot of joy out of being able to share those experiences with other people and, you know, having people share those experiences with me, you know. And so <clears throat> through this just crazy point in history that we're going through now as we're kind of all experiencing this collective uh, awakening, if you will, you know, and as we're seeing people hanging on to the old ways and more people trying to force in new ways and, you know, this sort of like this thing bubbling up, you know, and I just was like, man, I, I want to connect with, with my people. I want to, I want to feel this and experience this awakening with you guys, you know, and just, mm-hmm. I don't know, not feel like it's such a damn lonely road because yeah. it can be, man, you know? Well, and maybe I'm, ju- and I am jumping in the next song, Sleepwalker, and maybe right. I'm jumping to these words with uh, above the world that keeps on pulling me down. And, right. you know, I feel right. like I'm floating around. And that's where I, I guess I'm thinking about the world because the world can suck me into its right nasty talons and you know, want to drop me into some lava pit, and, <laughs> you know, or whatever, right. whatever the, whatever the metaphor is. Right. 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 But that's what I was thinking. I guess, you know, I, I, I lay that out there and say, okay, then talk about Sleepwalker, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, and again, both the songs were written like back to back. You know, they have a very similar kind of sound to them. Um, same thing, man. You know, it was like being in that, that, that state where this song is more about, um, I on purpose, I don't know if, I should say this or not, or this should be in the, the thing or not, but um, and to be 100% transparent, um, I wrote it specifically to be like, it could be about a girl or it could be about God or whatever. 
um, it's kind of vague and kind of left open for interpretation. But whatever it is that is making me feel like I'm dreaming and, and don't wake me up because I'm in this, you know, amazing place right now is kind of I left that just vague and open for the listener to give their own meaning to that. But then in the bridge where, you know, it's like, um, what the hell do I say in the bridge? Uh, the world is bringing me down. Um, I was just kind of trying to, you know, tie that floating in the dreamy higher vibration with getting brought down by this lower shitty fucking, mm -hmm. you know, the, the problems of the world shit that we can just get sucked into and fucking suck the life out of you, you know? Right. I, I really, I really sort of hope that whatever the afterlife is, it is sort of that dreamy state that I can only really envision that I am floating and I can, and I can pay no never mind to the world and I can right. be one with what light is and, and add to the light. And I don't Absolutely. know. I, I guess I hope that. I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, I know me too, man. Me too. <laughs> That's what I'm like trying to do here, you know, <laughs> in this right. experience, but you know, we'll see what the hell happens. Yeah. I, I love come with me because I think it's about being here for each other. Right. Absolutely. And I, I guess that is where it all comes down for me because whether it's a religious thought or a spiritual thought or just a, just a, we're here for our neighbor sort of a thing, mm -hmm. you know, because, <laughs> because as much as I don't want to feel alone, neither do you, Absolutely. neither does the person next to me who works Absolutely. at a whole other place and thinks a whole different ideology. Absolutely. And it's, it's, yeah. So, you know, because yeah. And so come with me was, you know, that was more of like a, touching on other realities that are happening um other other things that are happening than what we just see in front of us because i feel like you know i'll speak for myself is that what i see in front of me for the longest time it's like this is real this is all there is i'm gonna react to it in the way that i feel like i should react to it or respond to it and that's it paying no mind to the fact that there's a lot of other dynamics at play that are responsible for creating the physical reality that we're experiencing here, you know? And so for me and, you know, regarding come with me, I, I, again, was just kind of like, I want to feel like I'm not alone and I would like to go with somebody and feel like everything's okay, you know, and go into these, the mysteries go into the unknown. I mean, there are things that, you know, that are out there that we can't see. You know, I, I think I said that in one of the lines or some one of the verses. And um, I remember experiencing that, you know, firsthand where I was like, man, oh, OK, for example, like walking into the room after two people just got done fighting and no one's yelling, but it's like, is everything all right in here? You know, like <laughs> you can feel that energetic uh, dynamic, that that change in energy. And, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it come with me was just like everything's going to be fine. Whether it, you come with me, I come with you. I just want somebody to feel like somebody is there. And let's just go out and figure the mysteries out together, you know. And that's a very vague poor explanation of that but you know um no but i think it is what it is i i thought it was interesting that you used isn't it um isn't it will smith uh yeah. some some verbiage from will smith i don't know is that from a movie or is that from an interview thing with no, him or? yeah you know it was like i was just looking on youtube one day um and i stumbled across this video it's like an old video someone's like interviewing him outside it looks like in new york or la or something and um he was saying something and I was like, that has to be the bridge in the song. And I found some other clip and some other clip. And I think that that's in there in Come With Me is like two different clips like okay. pieced together, I think. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's cool. I mean, because sometimes I think we throw uh, actors and rock stars and everybody under the they're all superficial bus. But if you really sometimes take a take a look at not only uh what they say mm -hmm. even in those sort of uh 
TMZ sort of not scandalous stuff, but you know, interviews right. for publicity reasons. Right, right. Sometimes there's some there's even though there's only glimpses of the depth, it's there because I think they're just like you and me, right? Right. I, exactly. Exactly, man. It's, their their paydays is a little bit more at the end. <laughs> right, of right, right, right. <laughs> which for some reason I'm still looking for a payday once in a while, which is so. Oh man, so tell weird me about it. It, it. Even though we're on this spiritual path, right, and we want this and all this and everything you're writing about and everything we're talking about, but yet there's still a part of me that goes, I would like to be able to afford, you know, fill in X, you know. Absolutely, man. You know, and that's exactly, I'm going through that right now. You know, it's just like, all right, well, I'm going to go and work for the man. You know, I'm going to go and get a job and stack some money because that's still kind of the game that we're playing here on earth. You know, we're, yeah. we're not at that point yet where it's this big communal, you know, one world thing where everyone has all the food and housing and anything that anybody needs, everyone's taken care of. You know, we're still like, well, if I don't get payday, then I'm going to be sleeping under the bridge, you know, and right. I don't know how I'm going to eat tonight. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, did the same thing. I went, you know, got a job, which I actually just recently quit, like in the last month. Um, but, you know, I was working and doing that whole thing, trying to get a payday. And that is like, I feel like the financial freedom will get you freedom to do, th- you know, I want to go to Peru. I want to go to India, you know, I want to go to Australia and go and scuba dive at the Great Barrier Reef, you know, like I want to go and do and travel the world because to me, that's like, you know, that's amazing, man. You know, the world is, is beautiful, you know? And so I'm like, shit, payday needs to happen. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm working like four part-time jobs now and it's sort of like, I, I, and I know I'm doing it for money, and and most in I would say three of the jobs I could almost care less about, right? Uh-huh. But, but you know I do it, and and I mean my dad was always always taught me to work, and he was always taught me to not spend more than you have, and all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, I I could go to Peru and I could go to the Barrier Reef and scuba dive. I would just have to pay for it right, for the next right. four years, right? You know, right, right. and I'm not that guy, you know. Even as much as I'd love to make my wife happy with a few more vacations, you know, but. Right, uh, right. But but I'll get there too. I st- and I absolutely do trust in in what is coming for me. Even if we're dying tomorrow, mm-hmm. I say that and I think that, but I don't know if I truly embrace that. Right, you know? right. I'm with you. I'm with. But you. but all that said, I mean, I I still believe that something better is ahead, and I think that's what keeps me wanting to talk about this kind of stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. Me too. You man. Know? Me too. You know, and and it's a it's like. I mean, more now I'm finding more people like you, you know, that like we can have a conversation about this stuff and totally just get into it and, you know, lose right. track of, of time, right. um, which is freaking amazing, you know, I know. and it, it's just, it's been a long time, you know, that since I've been able to do that. And that's why I put it in the music, you know, because I feel like that's kind of the only place where I can just kind of throw a little bit of it out there without having people go, oh, take your fucking tinfoil hat off, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and by the way, did you wear a tinfoil hat? <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't made it that far yet. But. There's a uh, there's a cover from a band that I kind of dug back in the day. It was a Christian band named Sanctus Real, and they had a, a kid on the top, on the front with this tinfoil hat in it. That's there was some sort of, you know, uh, nuclear AG or protection okay, yeah, yeah. thing about it. And I thought it was, I thought it was kind of cool. Very so. cool, dude. Very cool. So save yourself. I guess I want everybody in the world to hear the song. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, don't you? I mean, yeah. I know I'm, I know I, I don't want to put too lofty a goals on it, but yeah, that's what I want for everybody, you know, to. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, to sum it up, you know, it's like, that's kind of. I mean, if I could say anything to people, you know, generally, that's kind of um, the general thing that I would I would want to communicate to anyone who is seeking anything like that, you know, or, or asking questions, you know, about life and, you know, caught up in their own shit. Um, because, I mean, it doesn't need to get complicated, you know, and, and I feel like save yourself is, you know, there isn't really any elaborate you know, things to the lyrics or the meaning of the song. Um, it's just pretty straightforward. And I, yeah, I would love people to hear that message, you know. And 
Right, but somebody's got to get a kick in the ass. And even me still, right? I mean, I've gotten to this age and I'm like, sometimes I sit on the chair and I go, what, what is all this for, right? And it's like this, you know, get up on your feet thing. It's like mm-hmm. somebody has to kick you in the ass to do that. I mean, mm-hmm. and once I'm up on my feet, I'm almost good to go. Right. But, but to get on the feet. <laughs> I know it. It's so freaking stupid. It I pisses know, me off. I know. I know, man. I know. I, I, I am like shit dude i i am i'm as guilty as anybody else with that man i'm it's, it's like <sighs> yeah and, so, th- and that's why i think we need each other right because even this kind of even this conversation mm-hmm. it's easy enough to go yeah i like the record but i don't want to bother him with his time and whatever <laughs> so both you and i are end up watching you know more seinfeld refunds uh, re- reruns <laughs> right, you know right. refunds but it's it's i mean that's what we do and we end up doing relatively speaking nothing mm-hmm. or you or it's or it's easy to it's just easy to get stuck absolutely you know and that's what i've always loved about music whether and sometimes it it's the words for me for sure but sometimes it's just the way that stinking steve Vai played guitar hey, man oh my god absolutely frank you know for the longest time, I w- until like I started actually writing songs, you know, like where I had to write lyrics, dude. I just listened to the music, you know. I'm like I'm listening to the singer, and I'm like the voice is good. There were you know a couple hooks there that stand out to me, you know, that I can recall in my memory. But overall, the way that I would listen to music was like, how is this in general making me feel right now? If I'm like bobbing my head, shaking my ass, feeling like I'm going to mosh, you know, whatever it is. It's like, how's this making me feel? I didn't pay too close attention to the lyrics until like, I don't know, in the last, I don't know, six, seven years or so, something like that, where I'm going back and like listening to all the shit that I, you know, grew up listening to. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like I really did listen to good shit. I'm really glad that I grew up listening to that. That's exactly how I thought because before I had whatever awareness I had, have, will have, it's like I noticed that, God, the songs I was listening to had some something in it that was penetrating my soul right. and I didn't even know it. Exactly. 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 You know, and again, that's funny that you bring up Steve I because it's like, holy shit. You know, uh, Satriani, Steve I, um, Dude, all that shit. But yeah, it was it was weird, man. You know, and then when I started getting more involved in songwriting, because it, in um in the last band, it was like working with the singer, you know, and writing melodies and you know certain things. Even though I didn't have the words, it's like you can write the melody and then fit the words into the melody. But at least you got you know the yeah. overall melody and how the thing's going to sound and how it's going to feel and all that. And um, I just started you know focusing on the lyrics, and I'm like, fuck you know, I'm going to go back and listen to all this shit that I grew up listening to, you know, and I, I was, and I was like, damn, this is good shit. I'm glad, you know, that I listened to it. And now that I'm, you know, a singer, uh, it's just being very mindful of the, the message that I'm throwing out there, you know, because I feel like in the past being a guitar player, I didn't give a shit. I was just like, whatever. I'm fuck. My tone sounds good. Uh, my riff is cool. Like, I don't give a fuck what you're saying. Just sing on key and we're cool, you know? And, um, yeah, now I, I go back and listen to that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of glad that, you know, we're doing sages now, you know? Yeah. Right. Pretty happy it's, about it. I don't know if you've got, I don't know how many old Steve I records you have, but it's like, I was the one guy and I never, I never did interview him. Maybe someday I will again, oh, but, uh, but, uh, I'm telling you. I don't even know if he was the singer, but I thought the lyrics were fantastic. I thought they were uplifting. I thought they were soul bending. Mm. I I loved him, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm the only guy listening to this, to listen to his records for his words, right? <laughs> right on, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. See, you know, now now it's like it's a completely, absolutely, completely different. I mean, that's mostly what I listen to now. Now now I'm like fuck dude they're like all the stuff dude from back in the day you know 60s stuff and you know before then that makes so much fucking sense to me now i'm wow. like okay i don't give a shit about the guitar tone you mic'd up the drums with two fucking microphones yeah. i mean you guys went in there and just one take jaked this shit it's sloppy as hell like the mix sounds like shit but there is magic in this and I fucking love it, you know? Right. And 
I don't know, man. That's just what I listen. I listen to old fucking rock and stuff that's just sloppy and gross because I went through that perfectionist production, you know, yeah. super fucking fake shit um, where it also serves a point. And I totally understand it. Like, absolutely yeah. understand it. I'm just a purist. So it's like when I hear something that sounds really human and like just real, I appreciate that. 